Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So before I get started, I would like you to picture a small, dimly lit room in the center of a bustling city, where all the soft melody of a child laughter echo against the wall. In this unlikely house, innocence takes place all over the room, untouched by the chaos outside. It's a story of a young artist handed with nothing but crayons and boundless imaginations, transforming the mundane into vibrant canvas of possibilities. Now, the story not only unfolds as a merely nostalgic journey, but as a testament to the enduring power of innocence in shaping the very soul of our entertainment and expressions. Today, we embark on a narrative to explore how, in a world of creativity, the simplicity of a child's spirit can breathe life into her most profound endeavors. So, before we delve deeper, let me pose some questions for all of you. After a long, hard, challenging workday, how do you unwind? What activities brings you joy? Me? Personally, my go-to is finding my happy place and indulging in some forms of entertainment that comforts me. And whether experienced through movie, theaters, painting, drawing, writing, or dancing, these artistic forms of expression certainly play a significant role in shaping our experiences. But have you ever, ever wondered how those influences have molded your artistic inclinations? And more importantly, in what ways? In order to untangle all these questions, in today's speech, I'm going to dedicate and reference the power of entertainment and how it corrupts our entertainment. So firstly, in our complex and sometimes overwhelming world, the simplicity of innocence offers solace. And whether experienced through movie, theaters, music, or dancing, innocence possesses a unique ability of transport us back to time when life was simpler and our hearts were filled with wonder. Recall those childhood movies that make you laugh, cry, and even believe in magic. They captured their sense of innocence, reminding us of the beauty and purity that exist within each of us. Now, what about music? Music has remarkable power of evokes emotions and memory, reminding us of the innocence of our inner child. Maybe it's a catchy tune that makes you want to dance or a soulful melody that brings tears to your eyes. Music resurrecting the innocence that still resides within each of us. So to elaborate more specifically, books and movies by providing us a deeper exploration of the characters and their experiences profoundly impacts our lives. As we watch a movie or read a book, we become intertwined with the characters, laughing and crying with them. But have you ever wondered how those have molded and have shaped your experiences? And how those these influences have changed your experiences? And yes, it is, undoubtedly. It's this emotional connections that allow story to expose our inner child, freely giving us the pleasure we seek, or sometimes leading us through poignant and heart-wrenching circumstances. Let me tell you a very exciting example. The Rainbow Troops by Andrea Hirata. Like many other books, it serves as mere entertainment. It's become a teaching tool showcasing admirable qualities such as honesty, bravery, loyalty, and the sense of goodness. The details in the story resonate with us through our attitudes, emotions, and memory, making it such an inspirational story for readers worldwide. However, diverging from the main topic, I would like to discuss about the capacity of innocence in our own self-expressions. Innocence isn't just confined to entertainment. It also plays a vital role in our own self-expressions. 
engaging in creative activities like painting, drawing, or dancing allow us to tap into the pure and unfiltered part of ourselves. In these moments, we share inhibitions and reconnect with the essential joy of creations. Our society often puts pressure on us to conform, to abandon the innocent joy of our youth. Yet, embracing and celebrating our innocence is essential for personal growth and happiness. This reminds us of the importance of staying true and love ourselves, even in a world that can sometimes be cynical. However, while that is true, that innocence has bestowed numerous beneficial upon us, it cannot be denied that it also carries certain disadvantages. Accordingly, on April 20th, 1999, a shooting incident took place at the Columbine High School in Columbine, Colorado, the USA. The two adolescents, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, tragically carried out a mass massacre at their high school. The two gunmen shot and killed a teacher, 12 students, and numerous others before taking their own lives. And as you know, the shocking incident sparked national conversations about the school safety. Astonishingly, the motivations behind Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, the two perpetrators of the Columbine High School shooting, has been much of an analysis and debate. While the two gunmen did express their feelings and thoughts through certain forms of media, including books and movies, solely attributing themselves to books and movies is a complex matter. And also, the notions that certain forms of media, including books and movies, has directly caused the violence has been widely criticized by scholars and experts. Research on the relationship between media violence and real-world aggressions is inconclusive, and many more factors contribute to the main complex issue of violence. However, the reasons why I chose to stand here today is to ask the questions. How? How can we preserve our innocence in a world where entertainment and expressions can sometimes be overwhelming? Be conscious of the content that you consume and create. Choosing media signs that aligns with positive themes and reflecting our ideals. Remember, we have the power to shape our own innocence. Creating arts that mirrors and reflects our own innocence and positivity. Surround ourselves with supportive community that respects and nurtures our genuine expressions. And now I know that you may think that these simple things, but it can make all the big differences. In conclusion, I urge each and every one of you to never stop embracing your inner child. Seek for entertainment that evokes a sense of innocence and allow you to express yourself freely. More importantly, never underestimate the significance of being who you are. Together, let's work towards a world where innocence is valued and artistic reflections it reminds us of the beauty and purity that exists within each of us. Thank you for joining me here today 